In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can make your Blender models, like uh, UGC hats and stuff, just like this one, into an accessory on Roblox. And then you can wear it in Roblox just like this. But some of you people here won't know how to actually make accessories. So if you don't know how to make an accessory like this, I'll put a video on screen right now. Click the tag in the top corner or the link in the description. It will tell you exactly how you can make items just like this one. Anyway, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to want to take your accessory and select it and go to file, export, and then FBX. So now you want to select where you want to save it and make sure you tick here on the right limit to selected objects and that means it'll only export your selected objects. Before we do this, there is something important to mention. In Roblox Studio, you can scale um, hats and stuff. You can scale models, basically. But when you turn something into an accessory, it goes to the default scale. So if you import your hat and it is massive, right? If your hat is massive... Basically, you need to resize it in Blender and then re-import it. It's really weird. And if you got the default Blender scale, basically, if you if you import a dummy from Roblox, it's about this size in Blender. And if you've done this, then basically this dummy is 100 times bigger than a dummy inside of Roblox. And as you'll actually see just down here, I actually have my hat shrunk down to 1%. So if I take this hat here, if I do duplicate with shift D and just move it to the side and then I'll do S to scale and then 0 0.01 and that's tiny right but that is the scale we wanted and this is just because of the way I've done it the, the dummy I imported from Roblox and the scale then um, basically I want it to be a lot smaller but if this doesn't work you can always see how big it is when you import it so it's big like this when you import it you can just scale it down and re-export anyway export as i said and move back over to roblox and then in roblox the easiest way to do something small just like one mesh is to go into workspace click the little plus type mesh and mesh part and then in this mesh part you can basically just select it come over to the properties and then where it says mesh id click on the file and find it in files so as you see, mine here is actually scaled um, just how I would want it. I know it looks really small, but when you actually go and put it uh, near an avatar, you will see that this thing is honestly like the right size and it's not too bad. And also for uh, applying the texture in the, the properties again, where it says texture ID, click on here, click add image, and then choose file and find the image file in your files. As you now see, I have this nice textured hat. And now it is time to turn this hat into an accessory. Basically, what you want to do is you want to put it on a dummy. Make sure to get the dummy, you go to Avatar and uh, in, uh, Rig Builder, and then select one. I prefer Blocky, so you know the, the nice block avatar. And then place your hat on the block avatar and try and fit it perfectly, because how you fit it is important. Now you want to go over to plugins and you if you, you won't have this plugin by default but if you go to view turn on toolbox and then go to plugins and then in plugins if you search for asset create creator you'll see here it comes up with this one this one by stickmaster luke and in plugins you'll see i have it i forget where i have it here asset creator it should have a little red cross Basically, what you want to do is you want to click on Asset Creator and it'll come up with this UI. And it's pretty simple from here. All you have to do is select Accessory and click Next. Then you want to click on the part you want to become the accessory. So I'm going to click on the hat, then click Next. And then you want to click on the character it's aligned to. So here, this is why it's important to use an like, actual rig from Roblox. So click on your rig, then Next. And now you select the kind of hat. It is hat by default, but you've got all these different accessory options here. But I'm going to do hat, Next, and then Classic. Then click Next here. And basically, once I click next, it now makes the, the, the hat um, a hat up here. And this is now turned, as you see over here, where it says meshes bucket hat 002 accessory. This is an accessory. So, yeah, um, pretty cool. If you want to make an accessory, that's how you do it. I hope you found the video helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe. And click the video on screen right now to learn how to apply to Roblox UGC so you can upload items to the catalogue.